Hi everyone, Julianka here, registered dietitian and Full Wells Nutrition Communications Manager. I'm coming to you today with some easy recipes and some tips for our new Knowledge Well, which is an expert-packed series that we have just started on our website and also on YouTube and social media, where we provide resources, education, really great tips, all the things that are related to your fertility. So today we are coming to you with uh, a recipe that's very near and dear to me. It's very easy, something that I incorporate all the time. They're called frozen flavor bombs, right? So here we go. <laughs> so today we are making frozen flavor bombs, which are essentially herb packed, nutrient packed ice cubes that we freeze in little silicone trays and we add to really quick recipes. They look like, right? So goodness, all in this ice cube right here. I love these because it's an easy way to throw in herbs that are going bad, herbs that are wilting, herbs that you have too much of. Maybe you needed just a little bit of dill to sprinkle over your salmon and now you have an entire bag left that you don't know what to do with. So you can do a lot of things with this. Today we're gonna make one that's actually that's packed with a lot of greens. So we have spinach today, we have some uh, cilantro, some parsley, and some dill. We also have ginger, which I really love. I use this in a lot of my meals. And then we have garlic too. This is a little bigger than what we typically tend to see in our grocery stores. It's um, elephant garlic. So larger than your standard variety, but also milder. I'm only gonna use one today. We're also going to add nettle, which we talk about all the time at Full Well. Their nutrient powerhouses packed with all kinds of things, magnesium, vitamin K, antioxidants. It also has a little bit of antihistamines in it, so really great for the allergy season. It's a really, really easy way to add herbs into meals that you're cooking, to add nutrient density, to infuse some of that goodness without feeling like you always have to make a tea. Ayla and I always talk about herbs. Nettle is one that we really, really love. I actually picked this one myself in the spring. It grows pretty like all over the place where I'm from and, and along the, the East Coast and I'm sure and you can find it in different places around the US too. But you don't have to go so far as to start foraging your own nettle. We really like to source ours from great companies like Mountain Rose Herbs is a really great one. Frontier Co-op is another great one. Your local, your local herbs shops and also health food businesses probably have nettle in it as well. So yeah, it's really easy to throw in. So let's get, let's get cracking. So here we are, we have our herbs. Today we have cilantro, we have dill, parsley, a little bit of garlic or ginger rather. This is like what, two inches or so. And then we have our elephant garlic and we have a couple handfuls of spinach and our nettle. So first we're going to rinse these off and then we are going to blanch them to preserve the color. Then we are going to follow up by putting in an ice bath and then blending it. I'm gonna put in a sieve and we're gonna give it a little bath just to get some of the dirt off. I'm gonna put all of it in at the same time and I'm actually going to keep the stems on it as well. Uh, the stems also have really great nutrients and this is also a really good way to use up the stems if you find yourself using the top of the parsley or the top of the cilantro for something else. Just gonna give this a little bath too. And we're using cold water to get that going. And then same with the spinach as well. Here. So again, these are like, you know, pretty fresh and pretty fresh spinach leaves, but if it's like slightly wilted, not perfect for a salad, you know, this is really great to use up in, in those recipes. So blanching again, preserves the nutrients and also the color. So we want to make sure that, you know, when we're when, we're, when we have our ice cubes, our flavor bombs, our flavor cubes, whatever it is that you want to call it, that they that they maintain this bright green color that we love so much. So this is going to help with that. And so we have boiling water right here, or almost boiling water. We're going to do it very quickly for about 30 seconds. You'll see the color sort of pop in the water. 
and putting it all in at once. On the side, what I did not mention is that I have this uh, bowl of ice water waiting and ready. So the ice water actually stops the, the sort of early cooking process, so to say, very quick. And you can see here that it's like the maintaining that bright, vibrant color. And then we're just gonna transfer it over. Okay, see right there, love that all of those nutrients that we want to preserve, keeping the stems in there. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit so that it cools down. And in the meantime, I'm going to just chop up the ginger that we have. I like to leave the skin on. I know that a lot of recipes call for taking the skin off. The skin has a lot of the nutrients, a lot of the fiber that we need. I'm just going to loosely chop this up because I'm throwing this in the blender. Doesn't need to be perfect. Same thing with our elephant garlic right here. I'm going to smash it, peel it off. And then, you know, the ginger is really great. It's anti-inflammatory. It helps with gut motility, which is essentially like helping to keep things moving. Um, for women that might be nauseous, this is great for helping with, with that as well. In the, in the winter, we know that garlic and ginger are great for their anti-inflammatory. So if you feel something coming on, this is a great thing to add to whatever it is that you're cooking, whether it's a stir fry or, or whatever, a soup, you know, so this is really gonna bring out a lot of that flavor. But really you can play around with this. You can add scallions if you want. You can add shallots or garlic, whatever it is that's gonna make your life easier that is working with your taste preference. That's what I want you to go with. And then here we also have the nettle that I love so much. So we're gonna add that. We don't need to do anything with that. We're just gonna dump it into the blender. finished mixing or blending rather our um, flavor bomb and now we're going to pour them into these silicone ice cube trays. I love these. They're really flexible. They come in a lot of great sizes. Our goal is for them to look like this and then we can use freeze them um, at least six hours and then use them for other meals. It's actually the perfect amount for the silicone ice cube trays. So there's so much that you can do with this. Sometimes I just do blended garlic and onions to just make prepping easy, easier. If you don't have a blender on hand or you don't want to use a blender, you can also finely chop those herbs up and then use a very neutral oil. I tend to use avocado oil, it has a higher smoke point, but you can also, if you're doing something that with a lower smoke smoke point, like a like a quick soup or you're not like frying or, or you're lightly sauteing something, you can also consider using like an olive oil as well, an extra virgin olive oil. All right, and here we have it, our flavor bombs that we are going to freeze for at least six hours to make these beautiful flavor enhancers for quick and easy weeknight meal. We're gonna pop them in the freezer for at least six hours. This is our end result.